This is a super mileage vehicle. And this is a super mileage vehicle. This is also a super mileage vehicle. Super mileage vehicles come in all shapes and sizes. The variations of these vehicles is based upon the fuel type and the roadworthy standards that place them in the different classes. These vehicles are built from the ground up by high school and college students and compete in annual competitions around the world. The goal of these races is not to be the fastest, but to be the most economical with their fuel source. In fact, the vehicles have a speed limit of only 25 to 30 miles per hour. Depending on which fuel type used, gasoline, electric, or even a hydrogen fuel cell, teams can reach into the thousands of miles per gallon or hundreds of miles per kilowatt hour. One of the tricks to gaining high efficiency is the vehicle's ability to coast while not under power. A secret for many of the teams is to use Onyx hubs for their ability to freewheel with minimal drag. Some of these are chain driven and some of them are shaft driven using a custom free hub body. The design and construction of these vehicles requires students to learn various skills, such as metal fabrication, welding, hydraulics, electrical design, internal combustion engine tuning, and even coating. All of these being applied to aerodynamics, weight, and efficiency of each vehicle. The cost to build these vehicles can vary greatly and are primarily funded by student fundraisers, grants, and donations. Rather than us telling you how the programs work, we have Kira from Armstrong High School taking you for a lap and explaining how programs function and how the competitions work. All right, so the super quick rundown of what super mileage is. I'm currently driving a super mileage car. I'm driving a prototype battery electric car. And what that means is this is a small car. It's got three wheels. It's, you know, I don't know, maybe two feet wide and eight feet long. It's not very big. It's powered by a bicycle hub motor that would come off of an e-bike. And it is built by a group of high school students that I go to school with. And then now, uh, at the end of the year, after we've been building them all year long, we get to come out here to an actual track, and drive them, and see how they perform. The whole goal of these cars is to be super fuel efficient. So, yeah, so all year we're working to keep the cars light uh, and aerodynamic, whether that be from looking at the components we're using, making sure that we're buying the you know, lightest wheels we can, you know, while also staying within a, a budget that we have, yet we don't have any money in this. Um, but then also what we can do to just make sure the car rolls better. Because a big part of this is also the driving. And while I'm sitting in the car driving, I've got this little bike computer. I'm looking at how fast I'm going, what my average speed needs to be. We do the math before the event. And for this one, it happens to be 15 miles per hour. And you have a certain time limit on the track. This is 24 minutes. So you got to keep the as low of an average speed as you can while still making it under the time limit to just uh, help conserve the energy you're gonna use. Um, so while you're driving, you're going to burn, as I'm doing right now, up to 20 miles an hour, and then I coast down to 10. That way, it's, uh, it's just more fuel efficient doing that as opposed to being on the gas the entire time. And then you're also looking at the lines you're taking and making sure you're not quite taking the racing line because you don't have g-force pulling you out of corners uh, but you're just taking as short of a line as humanly possible to shorten your distance and make it a little bit easier to stay under that time limit and use less energy so that's a brief rundown on super mileage check your local schools and programs or visit mteea.net or shelleco for more information